Hello, everybody. I'm Andre Kachaturian with Armenian Sports News, joined today by a special guest, uh, Johnny Muradian. Johnny is a renowned lacrosse player. Uh, he uh, is a National Lacrosse League coach, manager, and executive, and he's trying to bring the sport of lacrosse to Armenia through the High Sticking Initiative, High H Y E. Uh, Johnny, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Hey, I'm 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 doing well, Andre, and thanks so much. Uh, it's my pleasure to share this mission with with everybody. Yeah, Johnny, you'll be heading over to Armenia soon to uh, host the uh, lacrosse clinic for uh, children and kind of introduce the sport of lacrosse. Uh, to Armenia in order to help uh, uh, grow the sport. Kind of tell me exactly what the clinic's going to be what you're, uh, and, and what's going to happen there from July 3 to 14 when this event's going to be taking place. Well, we've been very fortunate to um, partner with uh, Goals, uh, Tenia Vakians, the, the CEO of Goals, and she started that a few years ago. I'm sure everybody's aware of all the magical uh, programs she's doing for girls to empower them and develop them. And so we're working with her and we're going to do a camp. That's the first week in the mornings. We're going to have about 75 girls and, and, and boys there. And then in the afternoon, we're heading up to do a couple of afternoon clinics uh, on Monday and Tuesday in concert with the, the Paros Foundation. Um, so that's going to be fun. And then the second week, we're uh, going to be at the Co-op Smart Center for, uh, for the five days. And then on Monday and Tuesday in the afternoon, we're heading up to uh, Octala and, uh, with Father Hetum. And we're going to do a clinic up there on Monday and Tuesday afternoon. So it's a combination of uh, two camps in the, in the mornings and then a couple of clinics in, in the afternoons on the Mondays and Tuesdays. So uh, how did this idea come about, uh, Johnny, uh, to kind of help spread lacrosse to Armenia? Well, uh, you know, it's a funny story and, a, and very interesting. So uh, fathers, I'm from St. Catharines, Ontario, and Father Suen, when he started uh, his, his priesthood, his first placement was at our church in St. Catharines. And I was involved with the professional lacrosse at that time. And he was involved with SEMA, Canadian Youth Mission, to Armenia. And that was 31 years ago, Andre. Wow. Uh, and so I went with Father uh, and uh, worked and helped and volunteered the mission. I, probably about 25 other you know, young Armenian, Canadians, and Americans. And, and it was a very uh, interesting experience, as you could tell back then. It was a whole different Armenia than, than it is now. And, you know, we were working with these young boys and girls and the boys were so full of energy. We said, like, we've got to bring lacrosse to these kids, you know, because they have so much energy. You know, they're rough. They're tough. They want to play. They want to compete, you know. And uh, so we had talked about it a number of times and the timing just wasn't, you know, really, really good. You know, father had moved to a, another parish in New Jersey. And then, you know, he, he had some health issues as, as we know. And um, so it was uh, five years ago that he had his heart transplant at Tufts in Boston. And when he came back, uh, you know, last summer, you know, he was just wound up and said, Hey, you know, Johnny, now's the time, you know, I've been, that was his sixth visit there. He's been there and has great relationships and, he said, uh, you ready? And I said, listen, if you're ready, I, I'm ready if you're ready. And, you know, we started and uh, we brought uh, a good friend of father's, uh, Meher Sarabikian on board. And he's been just extremely, extremely helpful. He's doing some work with the uh, diaspora in a volunteer position. And he's over there right now. So he's helping us with a lot of the logistics and the relationships. But you know, Father Sue and we worked with IO uh, to fundraise uh, for goals. We've been working with goals and our big fundraiser that we're working on now is with co-op uh, to uh, help fund, uh, you know, the program there. So the three nonprofits have been very, very helpful and have made it easier for us, for sure. What does it mean that you're getting this support from the Armenian church? Well, it's it's, you know, it's really interesting because there's a lot of things going on over there that I don't even 
know the ins and outs, but I know. And, you know, we're just so excited. I think people are excited to bring hope to kids, you know, to bring inspiration to kids and to bring leadership to kids. And, you know, we want to connect the lacrosse diaspora players and families. Like next year, you know, there's a lot of kids in Canada, USA playing lacrosse, but we want to get them over there and actually be great role models and teach and, and show them. And then, you know, obviously at some point, then we get the Armenian kids to come over, you know, to America uh, and, and, uh, and, you know, and learn the game and, and enjoy the game. Uh, what type of reaction have you seen from, you know, the youth in Armenia surrounding this? Obviously, you know, the, the camp hasn't happened yet, but there's anticipation for it. Um, what, what type of reaction uh, have you, have you guys received so far? Well, we haven't really had much contact with the youth. It's been mostly the leadership of the organizations. Okay, what type of reaction have you got from them? Oh, fantastic. You know, you know we even, we had a call with uh, uh, a gentleman with the Ministry of Culture, Sport, and, uh, you know, he was very, very Good. pleased about, you know, what we were doing. Uh, the leadership of Co-op, the leadership of IO, and the leadership of goals have, have been really, really uh, what's, what's given us the drive. We had a contest with the art students, with some of the art students at, at co-op that started a, a couple of months ago. And one of the young ladies designed a logo that we're using for the summer. So we had to actually have a, 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 a presentation with the kids in the class in the art department to actually talk to them about, you know, what, what lacrosse was and, and what the sport is. So, so part of our, our program and our mission will be actually educating them on what the, the history of the game, you know, the native heritage of the game so that they can really then dig into it and understand how, how important this game is to, to a lot of us. What are your goals with this project? Well, you know, we've got three different levels of goals, Andre. The first one is to just get kids uh, sticks in kids' hands. You know, we're using softballs. We're not using any equipment and just some fun, uh, fun ways to learn and appreciate the sport. You know, kids fall in love with different things. Some kids fall in love with a stick. Some fall in love with a ball. Some fall in love with a ball and a stick. And, you know, there's, you know, you know baseball kids love a ball and a stick right? Hockey kids like a stick and a puck. So, you know, this gives these kids an opportunity to, you know, to fall in love with a stick and a ball. So we're just want them to fall in love. Then the next level is we're building a board, which will be um, mainly of uh, Armenian uh, females and males. And we also are in the process of applying to world lacrosse, which is the governing body of all the international lacrosse. And there's over 85 countries that are playing lacrosse right now. And so once we get that board set up, we will apply for uh, admissions into the world lacrosse. And once we are at that next level, stage three, then we can compete in the European Lacrosse Federation to actually take kids to Europe and compete just like they're doing in all the other sports. And eventually uh, try and get Armenia uh, the team to compete in the Olympics because it really is it appears that it's going to be an Olympic sport at some point in the future. So we've got those short-term plans, the middle plans, and the ultimate competition for high-level, high-performance lacrosse players, girls and boys. You've seen that happen with – you're kind of seeing that happen with basketball over the last couple of decades in Armenia where it kind of had a – you know, it was kind of grassroots at first, and now it really has grown, and they – they are competing in European tournaments and things of that nature and trying to get to the Olympics. So uh, I, I, it's such a valiant, um, you know, goal and, and yeah. uh, very admirable. And I love to see American sports like basketball, like lacrosse. Well, lacrosse is North American uh, yeah. and even, you know, ice hockey and baseball growing in Armenia because, you know, th those are sports that I grew up watching and I, I'm obviously very proud to be Armenian and it's just exciting to see, two of my passions intertwine. And now I'm going to ask you that. It's like, how does it feel that you have this passion, lacrosse, that you've you've played lacrosse your whole life? It's been a part of your life, uh, your whole entire existence. And now you're spreading it to your homeland. How does that feel for you personally? 
You know what, Andre? It's it's just unbelievable. And, and what makes it unbelievable is the passion that Father Suen, uh, Maher and I have. We feel it from everybody we talk to, right? And, you know, passion builds passion. Excitement builds excitement. Um, and it's a dream come true because, you know, when I was a kid, I was having some real difficulties and, you know, in school and didn't do very well. And, you know, the late Bob Yaloy and God bless him. He was a, the phys ed teacher at our high school. And I, you know, dropped out of high school and I went to a community college and he, you know, got a hold of me one one night when we were at this pub in downtown St. Catharines and said, hey, you know, what are you doing? You know, like get your act together. And he went to Ithaca College and he played three sports. He played baseball, hockey and football. And then he came back to our hometown in our lacrosse community and was a high school phys ed teacher. So he was at the high school that I went and and uh, eventually, you know, dropped out of. And he called the lacrosse coach at Ithaca and said, listen, you know, I went down for a visit and he said, uh, you know, you get your grades up at the community college and we'll get you in here. And I went, well, wow. Like, you know, it was a, you know, like Bobby changed my life. God bless him. And, you know, lacrosse has changed my life. And, you know, that's something Father Sue and I really want to do is we want to, you know, we want to inspire and change lives because, you know, Father, when we were with the Toronto Rock and the professional league, he was our pastor for our team. Oh. His kids played lacrosse and he's a hockey nut. Like he's a big t Toronto Maple Leaf fan. Like he's a hockey nut. Matter of fact, he doesn't like Boston much because Boston has always beaten Toronto over the years. So, uh, but uh, you know, so the passion builds passion. Wow. So uh, Johnny, I just, you know, learning about you has been pretty remarkable, you know, nine NLL championships uh, under your belt in various roles as an executive and, and now you're trying to do this, bringing um, the sport of lacrosse to Armenia. How does that compare, I guess, as far as achievements, doing this versus all of the accolades you've won as a, an executive in the NLL? You know what? They all, they all have their own special sort of meaning. And, and it's, it's really interesting. And that's a great question because it all it, it all comes down to who you are working with and who you're going to battle with, you know, to to win those championships, whether it's in the NLL or when I was with Team Canada. So each one has a unique and different feeling. And this has a really unique and different feeling because I grew up like three doors down from the Armenian church. Right. You know, I went to Sunday school. I, you know, I did all that kind of stuff, but I never spent enough time learning Armenian. So this year I've, I've had, you know, almost 40 Armenian classes. So wow. I, I'm, and I'm, I'm really like, I'm really enjoying that. And I was taking the classes with Julie, father Suen's wife and with uh, ma'am, which is a, which is a, uh, a, a school in Armenia. We've been taking it online with, with the teacher Oksana. And, you know, we're going to actually go to the school, not this Friday, but next Friday and see the school that we've been online with, <laughs> you know, and meet everybody like, in, you know, in person. And so like you, you can't compare that to, you know, winning a championship because that, that, that's a championship moment, you know, that, you know, and then we're going to go to a church, historical church and have lunch, you know, I mean, that's just, you know, it's people, it's people. Well, Johnny, I, I can tell you uh, that Armenia lacrosse is in good hands under you, and I'm very <laughs> excited to see where this goes. And um, I, I would love to reconnect and see the progress that we make with this uh, with this event and this clinics. And uh, best of luck to you going forward, and have so much fun.